A lot of us have heard our parents and grandparents say we're in our last days. Is the end actually near, meaning end of the world? Multiple videos of horn sounds coming from the sky. It's evident that the conclusion of our world is inevitable, looming over us with an element of unexpectedness that keeps us on edge. Preparedness becomes paramount in the face of such uncertainty. The signs of this impending end are not distant phenomena they unfold in our very midst, perhaps even within arm's reach. Have you borne witness to these harbingers? Today the veil will be lifted, and you'll behold the evidence firsthand. So let us not squander a moment and delve into the unfolding narrative. Among the recent events that have shaken our collective consciousness, the Philippines stands out with its tumultuous encounters with nature. In the tumult of 2023, a tempest of unparalleled ferocity ravaged the nation, leaving in its wake a trail of destruction. While many captured the storm's fury on film, one observer stumbled upon something extraordinary amidst the chaos. Listen closely to the footage, and you'll discern an eerie echo cutting through the cacophony of wind and rain a haunting sound reminiscent of a celestial trumpet, as if signaling an impending judgment upon the land. In the stillness of an ordinary day, a man finds himself on his balcony, a silent observer to the symphony of nature. The sky, once serene, suddenly becomes the stage for an extraordinary spectacle that defies all logic and reason. With bated breath, he witnesses the emergence of a mysterious object hurtling through the heavens, a silent interloper in the celestial ballet. This enigmatic entity, unlike anything he has ever seen, streaks across the firmament with astonishing velocity, a streak of light against the canvas of the night. Its movement, an affront to the laws of physics, challenges the very fabric of reality. What force propels it forward, defying the natural order with its incredible speed and agility? As he grapples with this perplexing sight, a profound sense of unease washes over him, like a chill wind on a summer's eve. The object's trajectory, inexplicably contrary to the prevailing winds, defies all conventional wisdom. How could such a phenomenon occur, and what dark forces lie behind its inexplicable flight? Yet it is not just the sight of this otherworldly apparition that sends shivers down his spine, it is the sound that accompanies its passage. A deafening roar reverberates through the air, a cacophony of sound that pierces the silence of the night. Its origin, a mystery unto itself, leaves him trembling with fear and trepidation. What strange alchemy of nature could produce such a thunderous sound, and what cosmic forces are at play in the heavens above? These questions, like riddles without answers, linger in the depths of his mind, haunting him with their inscrutable mysteries. Turning to ancient texts for solace and understanding, he finds echoes of these strange occurrences in the annals of prophecy. The signs of the end times foretold in ancient scripture seem to manifest before his very eyes. The storm clouds gather on the horizon, heralding a time of reckoning and renewal. In the sacred pages of the Bible, he finds passages that speak of tumultuous storms and celestial trumpets, 
harbingers of divine judgment and redemption. Could it be that these cosmic events are not mere accidents of nature but part of a grand design, orchestrated by unseen hands? With each passing moment, the weight of these revelations bears down upon him, like Atlas carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. The end times, once a distant specter on the horizon, now loom large in his consciousness, casting a shadow over his every thought and action. And yet, amidst the darkness, there is a glimmer of hope, a flicker of light in the depths of despair. For in the midst of chaos and upheaval, there lies the promise of redemption and renewal. As the old world crumbles, a new world rises from the ashes, like a phoenix reborn. In the words of the ancient prophets, he finds comfort and guidance, a roadmap for navigating the turbulent waters of the end times. For though the path may be fraught with peril and uncertainty, he knows that he does not walk alone. With faith as his compass and hope as his guiding star, he steps boldly into the unknown, ready to face whatever trials may come his way. And so, as the night sky fades into dawn, he stands on his balcony, a sentinel in the twilight hours, watching and waiting for the signs of the times to unfold before him. For in the end, it is not the darkness that he fears, but the light that will ultimately lead him home. Throughout the annals of human history, natural disasters have often been interpreted through the lens of eschatology by many devout Christians. These catastrophic events, ranging from earthquakes to hurricanes, have frequently been seen as harbingers of the impending end times, serving as tangible manifestations of God's judgment and the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. In recent years, the escalation in both frequency and intensity of such calamities has only intensified these interpretations, further fueling discussions regarding their theological significance. Take, for instance, the devastating Hurricane Katrina, whose wrath ravaged the United States in 2005, leaving behind a trail of destruction and loss of life. While some viewed this catastrophe as a divine admonition, signaling God's displeasure with humanity's transgressions, definitive conclusions about such events remain elusive. Similarly, the catastrophic earthquake and tsunami that struck Japan in 2011, resulting in widespread devastation and loss of thousands of lives, prompted soul-searching inquiries into the role of natural disasters within the framework of biblical prophecy. Moreover, the recent storm in the Philippines serves as yet another poignant reminder of the Earth's volatile disposition, manifesting in the form of unprecedented weather patterns and environmental upheavals. The surge in the frequency and severity of such natural calamities has sparked widespread concern and speculation, particularly within Christian circles, about their correlation with biblical end-time prophecies. As the specter of the climate crisis looms ever larger on the global stage, with rising sea levels and extreme weather events becoming increasingly commonplace, many believers perceive these ecological disturbances as echoes of creation itself groaning in anticipation of the imminent return of Christ, echoing the sentiments expressed in Romans 8.22. Yet amidst the tumult of environmental catastrophes and celestial phenomena, a singular question lingers, could the strange sounds echoing through the skies be interpreted as the clarion call of God's trumpet, heralding the culmination of human history and the onset of divine judgment? The eschatological tapestry woven within the pages of Revelation unveils a series of extraordinary heavenly signs that are said to precede the Great Tribulation, a period of unparalleled chaos and upheaval. Revelation 6, 12, 14 vividly depicts these cosmic phenomena, describing a cataclysmic sequence of events wherein the earth itself convulses in anticipation of its final reckoning. The sun darkens, the moon turns to blood, and the stars fall from the heavens, a spectacle unparalleled since the dawn of creation. Joel 2, 30, 31 further reinforces this apocalyptic imagery foretelling a time when the heavens themselves shall bear witness to divine judgment, signaling the imminent arrival of the day of the Lord. Amidst the uncertainty and trepidation surrounding the end times, believers find solace and reassurance in the promise of victory through Christ. The Apostle Paul's exhortation in 2 Corinthians 10.4 reminds believers that their spiritual weapons are mighty, 
capable of dismantling even the strongest of fortresses. Thus, while the signs of the end times may evoke fear and apprehension, they also serve as beacons of hope, guiding believers towards a future imbued with divine promise and providence. As humanity stands on the precipice of unprecedented upheaval and turmoil, the words of Revelation beckon believers to heed the call of prophecy and prepare themselves for the trials that lie ahead. Through diligent study and unwavering faith, believers can navigate the complexities of the end times with confidence, knowing that they are firmly anchored in the promises of God. In the midst of the chaos and uncertainty that shrouds the world, Believers are called to remain steadfast in their faith, trusting in the unshakable promises of God's Word. As they await the imminent return of Christ, they do so with hope and anticipation, knowing that the trials of the present age are but a prelude to the glory that awaits them in the age to come. The concept of the seven trumpets holds profound significance within the eschatological framework of biblical prophecy. When one conjures the image of a trumpeter, it evokes thoughts of grandeur and majesty, often associated with royal proclamations or heralding the arrival of dignitaries. Similarly, the seven trumpets in the book of Revelation serve as instruments through which divine pronouncements are made, albeit of a vastly different nature. Each trumpet blast heralds a unique judgment upon the earth during the tumultuous period known as the Great Tribulation. The unveiling of these trumpets occurs in the wake of a visionary experience undergone by the Apostle John, wherein he beholds a vast multitude from every tribe and nation, gathered in worship around the throne of the Lamb of God. Following this awe-inspiring spectacle, John witnesses a moment of profound silence in heaven, a stark contrast to the thunderous tumult preceding it. It's a silence pregnant with anticipation, as seven angels, standing before God, are entrusted with the seven trumpets that are about to unleash divine judgment upon the earth. The significance of the silence in heaven cannot be overstated. It serves as a poignant prelude to the impending cataclysm, heightening the gravity of the events about to unfold. As the seventh seal is opened, the seven angels are granted their trumpets, signaling the commencement of a series of judgments that will escalate in intensity with each subsequent blast. The prayers of the martyrs, who bore witness to the horrors of the Great Tribulation, serve as a catalyst for these judgments. Their cries for justice and vindication are likened to incense, a fragrant offering ascending to the throne of God. It's a poignant reminder of the potency of prayer and the divine response it elicits. As each trumpet is sounded, a different aspect of creation is subjected to divine judgment. The earth itself recoils under the devastation wrought by the first trumpet, followed by the seas, the water supply, and the celestial bodies. With each successive trumpet, the severity of the judgments intensifies, plunging humanity deeper into the throes of despair and suffering. Yet, amidst the chaos and anguish, a curious phenomenon unfolds. Despite the torment inflicted upon those who have rejected God, there remains a stubborn refusal to repent and turn to Him. The human heart, hardened by sin and rebellion, proves resistant to the call of divine grace, even in the face of unprecedented calamity. The sixth trumpet unleashes a wave of death and destruction unparalleled in human history. An army of demonic entities, led by four angels, wreak havoc upon the earth, decimating a third of its inhabitants. It's a sobering reminder of the consequences of unrepentant sin and the perilous state of a world estranged from its Creator. As the events leading up to the final trumpet unfold, the stage is set for the culmination of divine judgment and the establishment of Christ's reign. While the Great Tribulation may not conclude immediately upon the sounding of the seventh trumpet, it marks a significant milestone in the unfolding drama of human history. With anticipation, Believers await the fulfillment of God's redemptive plan, knowing that the trials of the present age are but a prelude to the glorious consummation that awaits them. The celestial signs that manifest in the sky hold profound significance, echoing throughout centuries of human history and continuing to captivate minds and hearts to this day. Within the realm of biblical prophecy, these signs serve as potent symbols, 
embodying both mystery and awe, yet tinged with an undercurrent of apprehension. As Samuel Wigglesworth poignantly noted, there exists a disparity between the signs and wonders witnessed by the disciples of old and the perceived absence of such manifestations in contemporary times. This dissonance prompts introspection has God's power diminished, or have our faith and expectancy waned, blinding us to the greater works promised by Jesus. Delving into the rich tapestry of prophetic literature, we encounter recurring motifs of celestial phenomena, meticulously woven into the fabric of divine revelation. These signs are not haphazard occurrences or mere natural phenomena, rather. They are intricately orchestrated manifestations imbued with profound significance. They serve as divine heralds, conveying messages of import to both God's chosen people and the wider world. Jesus himself alludes to these celestial signs, speaking of cosmic events involving the sun, moon, and stars. Far from being mere spectacle, these phenomena serve as harbingers of eschatological fulfillment, marking pivotal junctures in God's redemptive plan for humanity. Throughout Scripture, the sun, moon, and stars function as celestial timekeepers, delineating epochs and epochs within the divine narrative. In the prophetic utterances of Joel, we encounter vivid imagery of the sun veiled in darkness and the moon bathed in crimson hues, signaling the onset of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. These cosmic portents transcend their physical manifestations, symbolizing the spiritual darkness and upheaval that will precede the Lord's return. Similarly, Jesus' prophetic discourse underscores the tumultuous upheaval that will characterize the end times with the sun eclipsed, the moon bereft of its luminance, and the stars plummeting from the firmament. These cosmic convulsions serve as metaphors for the spiritual turmoil and chaos that will engulf humanity in the days leading up to Christ's return. Yet, amidst the foreboding imagery, there exists a redemptive purpose behind these signs. Rather than instilling fear, they are intended to galvanize readiness and vigilance among believers. They serve as a clarion call to action, compelling us to live in anticipation of the imminent realization of God's kingdom on earth. In the midst of uncertainty and upheaval, the scriptures offer a glimmer of hope and assurance. Daniel's prophecy foretells the establishment of a kingdom by the God of heaven, an eternal dominion that shall never be vanquished. Likewise, the exhortation in Revelation to remain faithful unto death promises the crown of life to those who persevere in their steadfast allegiance to Christ. Ultimately, the celestial signs serve as steadfast reminders of our unwavering faith and hope in Jesus Christ, the embodiment of our salvation and deliverance. In His light, we find refuge amidst the tempests of life, anchoring our souls to the enduring promise of His eternal reign. As we gaze upon the marvels of the heavens, let us be reminded of our steadfast hope in the Lord, who holds all things in His sovereign grasp. In the grand tapestry of existence, there exists an immutable truth nothing can assail or annihilate us as long as we cling steadfastly to the One who promises abundant goodness in the end. Though we may endure tribulations, bearing the weight of the world's trials upon our shoulders, our mortal bodies cannot be consigned to the earth's embrace as long as our hearts and souls remain tethered to the divine. Our ultimate deliverance awaits, leading us to the coveted crown of life, where every tear will be wiped away, and every pain will be extinguished in the radiance of eternity. Amidst the tumult and chaos that pervade our world, amidst the cacophony of suffering and despair, there exists a sanctuary of peace, a refuge found in extending love and compassion to those who bear the heavy burden of affliction. The downtrodden and dispossessed draw strength from their unwavering faith in God, bolstered by the tangible expressions of solidarity and support extended by compassionate souls. It is through our acts of benevolence, our outpouring of generosity, that we become beacons of hope, illuminating the darkness with the promise of redemption and restoration. Yet, amidst the whispers of false prophets and the portents of apocalyptic doom, it is imperative that we do not succumb to despondency or resignation. The harbingers of end times may seek to instill fear and paralysis, urging us to retreat into a passive state of waiting, but their prophecies ring hollow in the face of divine providence. 
Instead of resigning ourselves to a state of fearful inertia, let us seize the precious gift of time, fortifying our faith and courageously embracing the freedom to live boldly and purposefully. For those who tremble beneath the weight of impending doom, cowering beneath the covers in the dead of night, know this the signs in the sky herald not the harbinger of destruction, but the triumphant advent of God's eternal kingdom. The second coming of Christ, depicted in vivid detail within the annals of Revelation, is a testament to the sovereignty of the one who reigns supreme. Upon a white steed, adorned with crowns and cloaked in righteousness, rides the faithful and true, the embodiment of justice and mercy. With eyes ablaze with righteous fury and a tongue that wields the sword of truth, he leads the heavenly hosts in a divine procession, unleashing judgment upon the nations and treading the winepress of God's wrath. Yet, amidst the fury of his righteous indignation, there exists a profound love, a love that abhors sin, not for its own sake, but for the harm it inflicts upon his beloved creation. The prophet Isaiah echoes the sentiment of divine displeasure, calling upon humanity to heed the clarion call of repentance and turn from the path of wickedness. For sin, in all its insidious forms, serves as the antithesis of God's nature, severing the bond between creator and creation and inflicting irreparable harm upon the fabric of existence. Yet, in His infinite mercy, God extends the lifeline of redemption, offering us a chance to turn from our wicked ways and embrace the path of righteousness. Though the world may be shrouded in darkness, though evil may appear to hold sway, there exists a glimmer of hope, a hope, a hope, rooted in the enduring promise of salvation. As we navigate the uncertain terrain of these tumultuous times, let us not be swayed by the allure of fear or the clamor of false prophets. Instead, let us heed the words of Scripture, remaining vigilant in our faith and steadfast in our commitment to love and serve one another. Whether the end times draw near or lie in the distant horizon, let us live each day with purpose and conviction, knowing that our ultimate hope rests not in the ephemeral trappings of this world, but in the enduring grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the labyrinthine annals of eschatological discourse, one axiom stands unwavering the precise moment of Christ's return remains veiled in the impenetrable shroud of divine mystery. Jesus Himself in his earthly ministry, reiterated this enigmatic truth, declaring unequivocally that neither angels nor mortals possess the prescience to discern the appointed hour of his advent. Yet, despite the inscrutability of this divine decree, the zeitgeist of our era is punctuated by events and phenomena that some fervently interpret as portents of the eschaton. Indeed, the current milieu seems fraught with omens of upheaval and tumult. From the ravages of famine and earthquake to the specter of war and persecution, the landscape of our world is rife with tribulation. Yet, amid this maelstrom of affliction, it behooves us to ponder has there ever been an epoch in the annals of history devoid of calamity? Can we conceive of a time when the specter of death, disaster, and devastation did not loom ominously over humanity's collective consciousness? Consider for a moment the plight of early Christians dwelling amidst the crucible of Roman tyranny. Confronted with the stark reality of persecution and martyrdom, they faced the specter of death with unwavering resolve, their faith undimmed by the encroaching shadows of despair. Or cast your gaze back to the annals of antiquity, when the legions of Rome laid siege to Jerusalem, reducing the sacred precincts of the temple to rubble a cataclysmic event that could well have been construed as the harbinger of the end. Yet, even as the tides of history ebbed and flowed, ushering in epochs of conquest and calamity, humanity endured. From the scourge of the Black Death that decimated entire civilizations to the ravages of global conflict that rent the fabric of nations asunder, the annals of time bear witness to the indomitable spirit of resilience that resides within the human heart. Amidst the swirling eddies of uncertainty, one question emerges with crystalline clarity if indeed these are the end times. How then should we, as Christians, respond? The Apostle Peter, in his epistle, offers a cogent response to this existential quandary. In the face of impending cataclysm when the heavens shall be rent asunder, 
and the earth consumed in the fires of divine judgment, Peter exhorts believers not to cower in fear or retreat into seclusion, but rather to embrace the mantle of holiness and godliness. For Peter, the clarion call of the end times is not a summons to abandon our post or to hoard provisions in anticipation of impending doom. Rather, it is a call to arms, a call to embody the virtues of righteousness and compassion, to labor tirelessly in the vineyard of the Lord until the dawning of that great and terrible day. In the same vein, the Apostle Paul enjoins believers to seize the fleeting moments of opportunity to extend kindness and compassion to all, especially to those who share in the bonds of faith. Salvation, Paul reminds us, is not a prize to be hoarded but a gift to be shared, a gift that beckons to all who would receive it with contrite hearts and open hands. Yet salvation is but the first step on the pilgrim's path, a path that demands continual renewal and transformation. Paul, in his epistles, exhorts believers to be filled afresh with the Holy Spirit, to yield themselves wholly to the indwelling presence of Christ. This divine indwelling, far from being a solitary endeavor, is intended to be nurtured and sustained within the embrace of Christian community. As members of the body of Christ, we are called to foster fellowship and mutual encouragement, to walk alongside one another in the journey of faith. Whether through active participation in the life of the local church or through the bonds of small group fellowship, we are called to bear one another's burdens and to uplift one another in love. In the crucible of adversity, let us stand firm in the knowledge that our salvation is secure, our hope unwavering. As we navigate the tumult of these end times, let us cling to the timeless truths of Scripture, anchoring our souls in the steadfast promises of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Euphrates River, Asia's longest and most mystical waterway, has become a focal point of eerie phenomena, a place where the lines between reality and prophecy blur. In biblical and historical accounts, the Euphrates stands as a colossal witness to significant events, its waters mirroring the ebb and flow of civilizations. Ancient texts, revered for millennia, speak of this river's fate, a fate that could herald the end of days. Yes, we're talking about the book of Revelation. In Revelation 16, 12, it is foretold, the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. The once mighty Euphrates is now dwindling before our eyes, vanishing into oblivion, like an ominous prelude to cataclysmic events. But the horrors don't stop at the drying river. Reports of heart-stopping sounds, screams from the depths, have echoed through the land surrounding the Euphrates. What could possibly be lurking beneath? Could it be the fallen angels of ancient lore, imprisoned in the abyss, yearning to be released? Before we dive into these unsettling revelations, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss the shocking truths we uncover. The Mystery of the Fallen Angels We encounter a chilling presence emerging, fallen angels imprisoned beneath the Euphrates River. Their existence, shrouded in biblical mystique, hints at a malevolence that defies imagination. According to the Bible, these angels strayed from their heavenly domain, lured by earthly desires. Their lust for the daughters of men led to the unholy union and the birth of the Nephilim, a grotesque perversion of God's creation. Enraged by this defiance, the Almighty cast these errant angels into the abyss, locking them away in darkness and chains. But prophecy, 
as written in Revelation 9.15, tells of a day when these malevolent beings will be unshackled, unleashing unimaginable horrors upon humanity. And he released the four angels who were prepared for the hour and day and month and year to kill the third part of men. Imagine an army, 200 million strong, led by these fallen angels, poised to wreak havoc and destruction on an unprepared world. The world as we know it may tremble under the weight of such a cataclysmic revelation. Could the horrifying sounds and phenomena surrounding the Euphrates River be a harbinger of their impending release? Horrifying Scream The sinister enigma of the Euphrates River deepens as unexplainable phenomena come to light. Local residents and intrepid researchers alike have been plagued by spine-chilling encounters near this ancient river. Videos from these witnesses depict eerie, otherworldly sounds that send shivers down the bravest spines. Some liken the noises to the dragging of heavy chains, an unsettling reminder of the fallen angels imprisoned beneath. These unsettling recordings have left communities in turmoil as they grapple with the inexplicable. Accounts from locals describe nights haunted by terrifying roars, reminiscent of unearthly beings crying out for release. Researchers who ventured into this heart of darkness report hair-raising experiences, their senses assaulted by the inexplicable. Could these spine-tingling phenomena be the harbingers of the fallen angel's imminent release? The boundary between reality and the supernatural blurs, leaving humanity to confront the horrifying prospect of a future prophesied in the darkest passages of Revelation. And he released the four angels who were prepared for the hour and day and month and year to kill the third part of men. We must confront the unsettling question, could the end times be upon us, with the Euphrates as the harbinger of doom? Truth of Euphrates River The Euphrates River, a timeless symbol of God's intricate plan, has etched its presence in both the beginning and end of the Bible. It appears over fifty times, woven into the very fabric of biblical narratives. This ancient river, significant not only geographically but also symbolically, continues to play a role in God's divine design. From the pages of the Bible emerge truths about the Euphrates that may astonish you. In the pages of Genesis and Revelation, the Euphrates River stands as a testament to the Alpha and Omega of God's Word. It weaves through the Bible's rich tapestry, representing both hope and judgment. From its role in the Garden of Eden to the boundaries of the Promised Land, the Euphrates is a thread connecting God's promises throughout Scripture. Jeremiah's prophecy lingers like an ominous cloud over the Euphrates. It foretells the river's drying, and today, as the waters of Babylon, the Euphrates and Tigris slowly recede, we can't help but wonder, are we witnessing the fulfillment of this ancient prophecy? Is God's wrath being poured out upon us? In these uncertain times, it's natural to feel fear, but let us embark on a journey to unveil the mysteries of this river. Before we delve into the miracles and messages hidden within its waters, let's ponder the Euphrates' significance in the Bible. This river, the longest in the Old Testament, symbolizes prosperity in biblical narratives and serves as a geographical reference at both the world's beginning and end. The Euphrates is a place of hope and promise, a boundary marker for God's covenant with His people. Yet, in the book of Isaiah, the Euphrates transforms into a symbol of judgment, a powerful flood, foretelling God's righteous anger. It speaks of God's sorrow as He allows sin to consume His people. Jeremiah, too, prophesied the Euphrates' is drying, a stark consequence of God's judgment. The drying riverbed is a haunting image, symbolizing spiritual dryness and the consequences of turning away from God. Revelation paints a chilling picture of the Euphrates' role in the end times. Its drying paves the way for evil kings to invade Israel, setting the stage for the ultimate showdown at Armageddon. 
This event, however, is not unfolding today, but is reserved for the tribulation period. The present-day Euphrates River, dwindling due to factors like dams and climate change, mirrors its biblical portrayal. But this is not the supernatural drying described in Revelation. It's a sign of a fallen world grappling with environmental issues. As we witness these signs, we must remember that God is in control of history. The Euphrates story reminds us of our dependence on God, the living water. Amidst drought and despair, we can find spiritual fulfillment in our relationship with Him. The Euphrates Rivers decline impacts not only humans but also wildlife in West Asia. As the river dries, people suffer from water and food shortages. In these trying times, we're called to offer support through prayer and humanitarian aid. Though we may not be living in the specific fulfillment of these prophecies today, reflecting on the Euphrates, rivers' significance prompts us to trust in God's sovereignty. We can find hope even in the darkest times, knowing that God will ultimately protect His children. Therefore, the Euphrates River story is a testament to God's power and His intricate plan for humanity. It symbolizes the ebb and flow of human history, the battle between good and evil, and the contrast between spiritual dryness and the ultimate satisfaction found in Jesus. As we contemplate the Euphrates, let us remember that God's divine design is beyond our comprehension, and we must place our trust in Him. And in the words of Isaiah 44, 27, NIV, who says to the watery deep, Be dry, and I will dry up your streams. Strengthen your faith, the prophecy surrounding the Euphrates. River from its drying to the ominous events it foretells are both haunting and captivating. It's a symbol of spiritual dryness and divine intervention, a stark reminder of God's sovereignty over human history. But amidst the fear and uncertainty, we must remember to place our faith in God. He is the living water, our source of fulfillment even in the driest of times. In these moments of reflection, let us trust in His divine plan, for He is in control. Now, as we navigate these mysteries and contemplate the eerie sounds and fallen angels, I urge you to delve deeper. Share your thoughts and theories in the comments section below. Let your voice be heard as we collectively seek to unravel the secrets of the Euphrates River. In the midst of the unknown, let faith be our anchor, and may our pursuit of truth lead us to a deeper understanding of God's divine purpose. A mysterious sound heard through parts of Fort Greene, Brooklyn, has been driving some people, we are told, crazy. Yeah, it's, it's maddening, it's unsettling, and, and it's also just this mystery because nobody seems to know what is causing this strange humming sound. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon gives us a listen. The strange sounds were heard across Terrace, B.C. early yesterday morning and lasted for about 10 minutes. Speculation about what caused it ranges from the Aurora Borealis to aliens, or it could just be a prank. But similar sounds have been recorded in other parts of BC and reported in other locations around the world. Wow. Wow, amazing. Guys, what is going on? Ultimately, I cut the power to the entire house, and the sound got louder. This is, in fact, a worldwide phenomenon, and I'm calling it the worldwide hum. However, how should humanity react when the entire world is engulfed by a terrifying sound devoid of any rational explanation? Beginning in Israel, numerous cities worldwide were gripped by an eerie phenomenon of mysterious wailing noise, seemingly emanating from the heavens above. The sensation was not merely auditory, it felt like an intrusion into the very fabric of reality, unsettling the collective consciousness of humanity. 
Speculations abound as some draw parallels between this unexplained sound and the foreboding of Judgment Day, while others entertain the notion of a potential alien incursion. The global community finds itself teetering on the brink of existential uncertainty, grappling with questions that defy conventional understanding. If indeed a message, deciphering an alien code presents an insurmountable challenge, a cryptic puzzle demanding solution. Join us as we embark on a quest to unveil the enigma behind this spine-chilling celestial symphony and its imminent impact on our existence. The Ultimately, journey begins with eyewitness accounts, house. each testimony and a mosaic piece in the mosaic of truth. And Imagine standing on your balcony on an ordinary day, perhaps sipping morning coffee or contemplating the day ahead, only to be startled by an immense clamor enveloping the air around you. Instinctively, fear takes hold for such a cacophony could herald cataclysmic events, a harbinger of doom echoing through the corridors of time. Videos capturing the phenomenon reveal a sound akin to the blaring of trumpets, shrouded in mystery, leaving observers bewildered. From Israel, recordings soon emerged from distant corners of the globe, spanning North America to Finland and Kiev, each bearing witness to the haunting resonance reverberating through the skies. The disconcerting wail, reminiscent of an off-key trumpet, evokes a sense of dread, augmented by subtle nuances captured in recordings. Accompanying the din is a booming voice, seemingly uttering ancient, cryptic phrases, evoking comparisons to wartime air raid sirens. Yet, despite diligent scrutiny, the origin and cause of the phenomenon remain elusive, prompting a myriad of conjectures. Some attribute it to natural phenomena, invoking theories of atmospheric disturbances or geological shifts, while others posit a more esoteric explanation, citing the possibility of interdimensional rifts or extraterrestrial communication. Many have drawn parallels to the biblical narrative of the seven trumpets of Revelation, underscored by striking similarities. The Book of Revelation, penned by John of Patmos, chronicles visions foretelling the apocalypse characterized by the sounding of seven trumpets by celestial entities. Each trumpet heralds the unsealing of divine secrets, precipitating catastrophic events symbolizing the impending return of Christ. As the first trumpet resounds, fire and blood rain down upon the earth, decimating vegetation and plunging humanity into chaos. The second ignites a mountainous inferno, plunging a third of the oceans into turmoil unleashing waves of destruction upon the world. The third unleashes wormwood poisoning freshwater sources, its nature shrouded in ambiguity, a symbol of divine retribution and cosmic upheaval. In essence, the enigmatic wail from the heavens elicits profound existential questions, invoking echoes of apocalyptic prophecy. As humanity grapples with the implications of this celestial anomaly, the search for truth amidst the cacophony continues underscoring the fragility of our existence in the face of the unknown. Each reverberation serves as a reminder of our interconnectedness with the cosmos, urging us to contemplate our place in the grand tapestry of creation and the mysteries that lie beyond the veil of perception. In the annals of human history, few phenomena have provoked as much intrigue and speculation as the enigmatic celestial symphony that has reverberated across the globe. Beginning in Israel, a land steeped in ancient lore and mysticism, the haunting wail first made its presence known, shattering the tranquility of countless cities around the world. The eerie resonance, devoid of any rational explanation, gripped the collective consciousness of humanity, sparking a wave of curiosity and apprehension. Observers and scholars alike were quick to draw parallels between the unexplained sound and the prophetic warnings of ancient texts. Some saw in it the harbingers of Judgment Day, described in the biblical book of Revelation, where trumpets sound to herald cataclysmic events and the final reckoning of humanity's deeds. Others speculated about the possibility of extraterrestrial visitation, interpreting the mysterious noise as a potential signal from distant worlds. As the phenomenon unfolded, Reports flooded in from distant corners of the globe, each bearing witness to the eerie resonance echoing through the skies. 
From North America to Europe, Asia, and beyond, the haunting whale seemed to transcend geographical boundaries, uniting humanity in a shared moment of awe and uncertainty. Videos capturing the phenomenon proliferated on social media, igniting a global conversation about its origins and implications. The unsettling nature of the sound was matched only by the perplexing details captured in recordings. Witnesses described the noise as akin to the blaring of trumpets, evoking ancient imagery of celestial heralds and divine proclamations. Accompanying the cacophony was a booming voice, cryptic and otherworldly, hinting at the possibility of a message encoded within the sound itself. As speculation ran rampant, scientists and researchers scrambled to unravel the mystery, searching for rational explanations amidst the sea of conjecture. Some attributed the phenomenon to natural causes, citing theories of atmospheric disturbances or geological phenomena. Others delved into the realm of psychology, exploring the possibility of mass hysteria or auditory hallucinations triggered by societal anxieties. Yet, despite the best efforts of experts and scholars, the origin and cause of the Celestial Symphony remained elusive, shrouded in a veil of uncertainty. Theories abounded, but conclusive evidence remained elusive, leaving humanity to grapple with the unsettling reality of the unknown. Against this backdrop of uncertainty, ancient myths and prophecies took on newfound significance, offering interpretive frameworks through which to make sense of the inexplicable. The biblical narrative of the seven trumpets of Revelation loomed large in the collective consciousness, its imagery of divine judgment and apocalyptic upheaval finding eerie parallels in the unfolding events. According to biblical tradition, the sounding of the trumpets heralds a series of cataclysmic events, each more devastating than the last. The first trumpet brings fire and hail, scorching the earth and decimating vegetation. The second turns the seas to blood, unleashing a wave of ecological devastation. The third brings forth a star called Wormwood, poisoning the waters and wreaking havoc on the natural world. As the sequence progresses, the trumpets of woe unleash even greater horrors upon the earth. The fifth trumpet opens a bottomless pit, releasing a swarm of locusts that ravage the land with unparalleled ferocity. The sixth heralds the arrival of an army of demonic forces, unleashing chaos and destruction upon humanity. Finally, the seventh trumpet sounds, heralding the triumphant return of Christ and the establishment of his eternal kingdom. It is a moment of both terror and redemption, marking the culmination of human history and the dawn of a new era. In the wake of the celestial symphony, humanity found itself confronted with profound existential questions. Was the phenomenon a mere anomaly, devoid of any deeper significance? Or was it a harbinger of greater cosmic forces at play, signaling a momentous shift in the trajectory of human civilization? As the debate raged on, one thing remained clear the Celestial Symphony had left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of humanity, challenging long-held beliefs and igniting a global conversation about the nature of reality and the mysteries that lie beyond. Whether interpreted as a divine warning, an extraterrestrial communication, or simply an unexplained anomaly, the phenomenon served as a powerful reminder of the fragility of human existence and the boundless mysteries of the cosmos. The resounding cacophony that has echoed across continents, piercing the veil of ordinary existence, defies mere dismissal as an isolated anomaly. Indeed, one cannot deny the palpable sense of otherworldliness that accompanies these reverberations. It is this very unfamiliarity, this stark departure from the mundane sounds of everyday life, that imbues the phenomenon with an aura of dread and uncertainty. The eerie resemblance to a trumpet's call only serves to heighten the disquietude, evoking primal instincts rooted in humanity's collective subconscious. Throughout history, trumpets have served as heralds of impending doom, signaling the onset of conflict, conquest, or calamity. Thus it is little wonder that the mere suggestion of extraterrestrial involvement finds fertile ground in the fertile imaginations of many. The notion may initially appear fanciful, yet it is not without basis in substantive claims. 
the startling revelations delivered by David Grush before the August chambers of the U.S. Senate committee shed light on a clandestine world of government secrecy and covert extraterrestrial encounters dating back to the mid-20th century. Such revelations, while shocking, have sparked a growing sense of incredulity among the populace, raising profound questions about the veracity of official narratives. Once dismissed as the stuff of science fiction, the prospect of alien visitation now assumes a disquieting plausibility in the wake of mounting evidence. Accounts from credible sources within the American military detail encounters with inexplicable aerial phenomena, objects that defy the laws of physics and conventional understanding. The skies themselves have become a theater of the absurd, as unidentified objects streak across the heavens at breakneck speeds, defying all attempts at rational explanation. In light of such extraordinary developments, it is not unreasonable to entertain the possibility that the enigmatic noises plaguing our world may indeed have extraterrestrial origins. Could they be the desperate attempts of an alien civilization to communicate with us, to impart some inscrutable message from the depths of the cosmos? While no concrete evidence exists to corroborate such speculation, the mechanical cadence of the noise hints at a technological origin suggestive of an advanced spacecraft drawing ever nearer to our world. Yet, in our quest for understanding, we must also confront the inherent fallibility of human perception, our penchant for imposing meaning upon the arbitrary and the unknown. As pattern-seeking creatures, we are predisposed to discern connections where none may exist, attributing significance to random occurrences in a bid to make sense of the incomprehensible. Indeed, the recent disturbances heard across the globe defy easy explanation, transcending the bounds of natural phenomena and defying conventional analysis. These are not mere echoes of nature's caprice, but rather something altogether more disconcerting, something that eludes categorization or rationalization. They resonate with an artificiality that belies their terrestrial origin, prompting us to confront the possibility that we may not be alone in the cosmos that forces beyond our comprehension may be at work in our midst. In the face of such uncertainty, one thing remains clear the world is a place of boundless mystery, a tapestry woven from threads of wonder and awe. Whether the source of these enigmatic sounds lies in the depths of space or the recesses of the human psyche, their resonance serves as a potent reminder of the fragility of our understanding and the infinite possibilities that lie beyond the horizon of our comprehension. The reverberations echoing across the skies bear little resemblance to the natural symphony of the earth. Instead, they manifest as discordant notes akin to the clangor of metal colliding an unsettling cacophony that defies conventional explanation. The pervasive sense of otherworldliness that accompanies these aerial phenomena has captured the imagination of millions, sparking a global conversation that transcends cultural and geographic boundaries. Amidst the dissonance, discerning ears have detected a peculiar mechanical cadence, evocative of industrial machinery rather than any organic source. This uncanny resemblance to man-made technology fuels speculation of extraterrestrial involvement, as many posit the existence of advanced alien civilizations capable of traversing the vast expanse of space to reach our humble abode. Adding further intrigue to the mystery are intermittent bursts of what can only be described as musical tones, reminiscent of ancient horn instruments like trumpets. These melodic interludes, interspersed amidst the cacophony, lend an ethereal quality to the phenomenon, blurring the lines between the natural and the supernatural. Yet, amidst the apparent chaos, a deeper pattern begins to emerge. Observers note the presence of a booming voice, resonating with an ominous timbre that speaks of power and authority. Its origin remains a mystery, leaving many to speculate about the nature of its message and the identity of its enigmatic speaker. In the human quest for understanding, patterns are sought amidst the chaos, yet the sheer complexity of these phenomena defies easy categorization. The noises, 
a bewildering blend of natural, mechanical, and seemingly divine elements, elude simple explanation, challenging the limits of human comprehension. Recordings of the phenomenon, disseminated through the global network of communication, evoke a myriad of responses. Some liken the sounds to the primal cries of wild beasts, while others draw parallels to the rumblings of industrial machinery. Yet, despite the wealth of conjecture, a consensus remains elusive, as each interpretation adds another layer of complexity to the enigma. One theory posits the existence of a colossal creature, roaming the Earth's surface and emitting these unearthly cries. Yet, the lack of corroborating visual evidence casts doubt on this hypothesis, leaving it mired in uncertainty. Another suggests the possibility of a clandestine global weapon test, a remnant of humanity's troubled history of experimentation with destructive forces. However, the disparate distribution of the noises across regions defies easy explanation, challenging the notion of a coordinated effort by any single nation or coalition thereof. As the world grapples with the enigma of these celestial disturbances, one thing remains clear the absence of a definitive scientific explanation defies the expectations of a global community accustomed to rapid progress and innovation. In an age marked by technological marvels and scientific breakthroughs, the failure to unravel this mystery serves as a humbling reminder of the inherent limits of human knowledge. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, there is hope. Humanity's insatiable curiosity and boundless ingenuity have propelled us to the very edge of the cosmos, unlocking the secrets of the universe one discovery at a time. As we continue to explore the frontiers of space and probe the depths of the unknown, the answers we seek may lie just beyond the horizon, waiting to be uncovered by intrepid explorers and bold visionaries. Until then, the celestial symphony that echoes across the skies will remain an enigma, a tantalizing mystery that invites speculation and wonder in equal measure. One plausible reason for the perceived lack of research into the phenomenon lies in the potential for global panic that could ensue from the dissemination of incomplete or misunderstood information. In an era where classified documents are routinely declassified, revealing shocking truths about governments and global institutions, skepticism regarding the transparency of scientific findings is understandable. It raises questions about whether this silence from the scientific community is another instance of deliberate obfuscation or simply an exercise in caution. Moreover, the complexity of the phenomenon may necessitate a cautious approach from scientists. An unexpected revelation could easily spark widespread unrest and social upheaval, if not handled with care. Hence, scientists may be exercising restraint to ensure they have sufficient evidence before making any public pronouncements. The risk of misinterpretation of raw data by the general populace, coupled with our innate tendency to detect patterns where none exist, underscores the need for a rigorous and comprehensive analysis before drawing any conclusions. Another unsettling possibility is that the phenomenon exceeds the capabilities of current scientific instruments to comprehend fully. If this were the case, it would not only underscore the inherent limitations of the scientific method, but also pose a significant challenge to researchers' credibility. The reluctance to acknowledge such shortcomings could further hinder efforts to investigate the phenomenon thoroughly. The perplexing nature of the phenomenon occurring closer to home than most unexplained events, raises profound questions about its origins and significance. While many unexplained phenomena occur in the depths of outer space, this phenomenon manifests in our own skies, defying explanation from our greatest scientific minds. This discrepancy between proximity and comprehension only deepens the mystery surrounding the phenomenon and underscores the urgency of further investigation. Amidst the uncertainty, some have posited the theory of skyquakes as a possible explanation for the phenomenon. Skyquakes, characterized by loud booming noises of unknown origin accompanied by ground vibrations, have been documented since at least 1824 and occur globally. The striking similarities between skyquakes and the recent phenomena reported in Israel, Ukraine, and elsewhere prompt speculation about a potential connection. However, 
The lack of a definitive explanation for skyquakes themselves only serves to compound the mystery surrounding the recent phenomena. The implications of the phenomenon are as vast as they are unsettling. Could it herald the long-prophesied end of the world, as foretold by multiple religious traditions? Is it evidence of extraterrestrial visitation, with aliens finally making their presence known to humanity? The parallels between the reported trumpet-like sounds and historical accounts of war signals raise provocative questions about the phenomenon's cultural and psychological significance. Yet, amidst the speculation and uncertainty, one thing remains clear humanity is confronted once again with the profound limitations of its understanding of the universe. In the absence of concrete answers, speculation abounds, with countless scientific and pseudoscientific theories vying for attention. Yet, the underlying message of the phenomenon is clear we inhabit a world of profound mystery and uncertainty, where even the most advanced scientific knowledge can only scratch the surface of the unknowable. As we grapple with the implications of this enigmatic phenomenon, one thing is certain the quest for understanding is far from over, and the answers may lie beyond the horizon of our current knowledge.